A great way to add movement to your patterns is by using automation. You can use automation to record the movement of a parameter, for example, the length of the hi-hat. Here, I've got a hi-hat pattern, which is just playing 16th notes. And using this macro, I can control the length of that hi-hat. Now have a listen to when I play around with it. It sounds quite nice and I want to record that. And I'll show you how to do that using automation. Okay, so to record that movement, what I need to do is press record. And whilst this record button is on and the sequence is playing, it's going to be recording what state this macro is in. So as soon as I hit play, I need to start doing the movement. And as soon as I'm finished doing the movement, I need to press record again to stop the automation from recording. Otherwise, it's just going to keep recording that the macro is still, which isn't what we want. Let's show you what I mean. Okay, so that was a bit quick, but what I did is I hit play, did the movement, and then as soon as it got to the end of this bar, I hit record again. I'm gonna clear that automation and do it again for you one more time. To clear the automation, hold down clear and twist the macro knob to the left, and it'll go red like so. One more time, hit record. And then as soon as I hit play, I'm gonna do the movement for one bar. And then I'm gonna hit record to stop the automation from recording. You can also add automation per step instead of having to live record it. So on drum four, what I've got is this sort of pitched bongo hit. Let's say I want to change the pitch of each of these three hits. Firstly, I need to go into the velocity view. And the reason for this is if I try and select the note, it's gonna delete it and that's not what I want. So in order to select the note, I need to be in the velocity view so that it doesn't delete the note. Then I need to turn on record again hold down the pad so that it turns red and then make the adjustment that I want to make. And then for the next one. And then I'm gonna record this one being back to normal. Turn record off. Let's have a listen to that. 